Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys a programming language that I, a programming language that I made in C sharp. And um to start off with I'll show you guys some games that I made with it, just because they're um, a good way to test the features of your programming language. So uh this one I made a while back. And if anyone's familiar with the game Geometry Dash, which I'm sure nearly everybody has played this game is meant to kind of replicate it and I did make it extremely hard because I was you know having my real life friend play who's also a developer but uh, unfortunately I'm no longer able to beat the game and um, if you see these flags like the one that was just on my screen I'm only gonna play this once more but um, you know you see that flag right there before I died there's a flag on the screen there are about three of those in that game and it gets increasingly dif difficult each time. So I also finished the game just now. I'll go ahead and open it. It's this one right here, and um, yeah, it was made to uh, test bitmaps, so you can uh, put bitmaps on your on your forms in the form library that I made. And um, you know, I made some beautiful bitmaps. I know, no need to compliment me in the comments. These are some very pretty bitmaps, and the premise of this game is that there are vending machines, and as you can see, in the top left, you've got this hunger bar, and it's going down rapidly, and the way you suffice your hunger, um, not sure if that's the right word, but it's, it's you headbutt these vending machines, and then uh, fries come out, you eat the fries, I'll play this once more through, so you headbutt these vending machines, and then fries come out of them. You pick up the fries with your feet. That have urine coming off of them, as you can see. And um, yeah, that's how you suffice your hunger bar. And obviously, it's more of a prototype than anything. Not really any fun, but you know, it's just a test. And um, I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll, I know you guys um, don't understand my programming language. But um, this is the source code right here for the, that game I just made. So it, you, you can kind of glance through some features, but if anything, it's more of a proof of concept than anything. And by the way, the source code to the programming language is on my GitHub, which the link will be in the description. But I will go ahead and make a, um, a, a simple thing, a simple app right now on video and we'll have it use forms this is the form class I know again you don't understand that but I will try to do something that you can't understand here because I will write the C sharp equivalent to what I'm writing under the line so just so we're clear um, in my programming language the way you comment something in is you put a semicolon and then you write your comment after that and everything after the semicolon on that line is commented out that's the same for I believe assembly no it's definitely the same for assembly and I believe batch but I'm not sure on that one and there's probably way more programming languages that programming languages that use that kind of commenting scheme but anyway to import forms um, and this is how you do it import windows form and that's kind of the equivalent to using window system dot windows dot forms in C sharp Except not really because this imports a namespace in my programming language you import by the class anyway to actually make a form I'll do this in C sharp first so you would do form form equals new form that's how you would make a form in C sharp right uh, programming wise I know you won't usually want to do that programming wise but <coughs> anyway that's how you would initialize a class the way you do that in my programming language It's like that, as you can see, it's similar. Um, however, there is actually a constructor for forms in my programming language, right here. Form title, x, y, width, and height. Those are all things expected for the form. So the way that you include constructors is you go, or include variables in a constructor. Say that in C-sharp, forms had 
this kind of constructor, it would look like this. X, Y, width, height. In my programming language, it would just be like this. Um, so, you know, 600 width, 400 height, 100 X and Y. And then after that, I'll use format show and then you're done. For C sharp, it'd be format show. And, um, I do have to compile, add an extra few steps when compiling this in Linux, but in C on Windows, on Windows it's one command in the console. But that right there uh, is ju right there is just the um, is this this file this uh executable right here is this as you can see it's got a width of 600 height of 400 and it's shown on the screen so now we can add things to the form so I'm going to import simple label class called simple label reason is called simple label it's got an x a y and text that's it and this um, to make one it's the same thing except it has no constructor it's a struct, not a class this time. And um, I can show you guys it. I w I w Oops. I will show you guys the class. So this is the uh, s the struct of simple label. As you can see, it's actually pretty readable. It's a struct. It's got a public string text. It's got a public int y. A public int x and a public int y. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be so the C sharp equivalents. If there was a class called simple label in C sharp, and now set the text of it. C sharp equivalent, and then gonna add it to the form C sharp equivalent would be this uh, I believe it might be a little more iffy but that's just the general idea and um, compile this and run it Here it is, and um, as you can see, it's got Hello World on there, obviously in the top left. I'll show you guys one last thing, because um, I don't really want to use too much time. I feel like this is going on long enough already, but I'll show you guys events. So I'll, I'll briefly explain this, but I'll go over it in C-Sharp afterwards. So I'm going to make a function, and we got to import something here. Key event args, I believe there's a similar or exact function or er, class called that in C sharp. But in my function I'm making here, uh, I'm going to pass the parameter key event args. The function is going to be called key down. So this function is going to be called whenever a key gets pressed down. And the way that you register a function, form dot on key down, which is the event handler dot add function the memory address indicate that we want the memory address by putting this and then putting the function afterwards now in the function I'll do something simple like whenever you so that whenever you press a key it'll move the label so label dot x becomes label dot x plus three form dot repaint so that it updates it and uh, yeah that's it so I'll, I'll go ahead and compile this did it quickly so there might be an error no there's not um, as you can see I'm just pressing keys any key any key you can press and it's moving it um, up by to the right by three pixels so now to write down the c-sharp equivalent uh, by the way um, functions and everything are inherently private on my programming language so 
actually supposed to look like that. Private void key. It'd be capital K because you know C sharp conventions. That'd be the parameter. Uh, by the way, I'm writing this function right here in here. Uh, C sharp equivalent. So then label dot x plus equals three. And I believe refresh is similar to how I have repaint programmed. But I believe there's also I believe there's also repaint in C sharp, but refresh includes it. And finally, for this last line, the C sharp equivalent. I don't think there's an exact. I, I don't know if this is um what it would actually be, but it's something along these lines. Or I'm just going completely off memory, so this is bad, but. Everything else I'm pretty confident about. Plus equals key down. It'd be something like that. But anyway, guys, um, that's it. I guess I'll run it once more. There it is. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to cut it here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Source code in the description.